Hi everyone, um, I'm sorry if I sound really nervous, it's my first time I've ever done a vlog but I'm hoping from my experience I can help other people with post-concussion syndrome and also post-traumatic stress disorder from my experience from my accident two years ago. So first of all I'm going to tell you a bit about my accident and then how I come about finding out that I had PCS and PTSD. First of all my accident happened in 2016, in March, where I was at my old job before my job now. I was a normal day at work, like any other day, and found out in the morning one of my other employees I was working with at the time actually left two metal shelving arms on top of a cage and left it lying around in the warehouse. I um, then pulled the cage out that evening and went on my shift to put out some Easter eggs because it's around Easter time that the accident happened. And um, both the bars that was left on by the other employee come down on top of my head. And I don't really remember much after that. I sort of blacked out. And I remember the thumps from the bars hitting me on my top head down to my right side. And um, I don't really remember much because I remember going black, everything went black. And then I just remember a couple of my fellow colleagues come over to see what has happened. Um, they ran and got my manager and he literally stood there and laughed after I told him what had happened with the bars coming down on my head. And... Um, after that I was made to work on for another two and a half hours and was expected to come into work the next day. I didn't have an ambulance sent out for my head injury, I didn't get asked to go home to get checked out, so I carried on working. I had all normal symptoms of concussion, which was dizziness, sickness, I felt faint, my head was in an excruciating pain and um, I had to carry on working, like I said, for the other two and a half hours of my shift. So the next day when I woke up, I wasn't able to get out of bed. I had to stay in a dark room, no noise, no light. I was being sick and lifting my head was really really hard to do so I had to have an emergency appointment with the doctor and um, they sent me straight to A&E where I found out after tests that I had concussion um, I was signed off work for about eight to ten weeks which still after then I was still having all the symptoms of concussion um, headaches, nausea, dizziness, feeling tired, I had low moods and I kept going back and forth from the doctors and for a year and a half and they just basically brushed it aside but I think I can speak from other people, you know when you've got something. I knew I had more than just concussion so I kept going back to the doctor saying look no this ain't right. I need to either go see someone higher up, like someone that does head injuries and stuff like that, but my doctor kept brushing it away. So I sort of had to fight to get my diagnosis for a year and a half. I then saw a second doctor at a different surgery for a second opinion which then he sent me straight to the brain unit at our nearest hospital. So since then, I have seen a brain specialist, neurologist. Um, they said that I have all the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder and also post-concussion syndrome. I had to see a psycho psychiatrist um, to see if it's work out if it is post-concussion syndrome and 
post-traumatic stress disorder and it was so now I'm hoping for me vlogging my journey as it's now a two-year anniversary for me that I can help other people either understand what we go through every day for my view or I can help on advise people on what I have learned on my journey. I know I have quite a lot coming up soon to do with um, seeing counselling for post-traumatic stress which is I have to have two different types. I've got to go back to see a neurologist. Um, what I've experienced so far I'm hoping in these vlogs I can maybe help help out as much as I can um, for people to understand that it's not just something that's in our head it's actually something that we have to go through every day because I know from my experience that people will look at you and go you've got nothing wrong with you because I can't see it not everything that people go through you can see yes I've had a head injury for nearly two well over two years now but because you can't see it doesn't mean I haven't got it so it, hopefully I can change people's attitude maybe towards people who have post concussion syndrome and post-traumatic stress disorder because I know from experience it's not the nicest thing to have to go through um, it's a battle every day for people with it to go through it um, there's so many different things we have to fight to be able to do and I'm hoping if, when I go into more depth about what I've been through that people will stop sort of saying about the way it comes across so for example ignorance towards people with it I know I, I've heard quite a lot from working and uh, of people around me because they don't understand what we go through so for me on a daily basis I have I'm a single mum so I'm having to bring up my son and work as well so for me every day it's if I'm feeling low or if I'm feeling very fatigued or, or I just feel like I'm in so much pain I can't get out of bed it's that fight to get out of bed to get my son ready for school to get him changed get him brushing his teeth get myself ready to walk out that door to take him to school it's the same with work it's getting over the, that fatigueness and having to battle through your moods you wanting not to go to work because you just want to be in that dark room because of light sensitivity or noise sensitivity and especially for me working in a massive store where there's loads of people coming in there's loads of different noises and having to deal with that through work and then coming home to try and deal with at home to bring it back down to somewhere that you can cope um, so for me on a daily basis it's trying to get up in the mornings to get my son ready obviously I'm still getting pain um, in my head where the bars hit me um, I'm very tired every morning I'm very I, I suffer really bad with fatigue definitely low moods it's sometimes my mood can be why can't I go back and why did this accident have to happen um, why could he not do his job properly that's sometimes what I think but at the end of the day I have to battle through to make sure my son is all right so my son is like my world um, and I'll do anything for him but it's finding that time in between to rest to like my counsellor said you have a jug in your brain you get normal stress at the bottom but with post 
concussion syndrome and post-traumatic stress disorder you can fill your jug and overfill it and then you have to find a way to bring it back down just to the normal levels of stress through everyday life that everyone else gets so for me it's getting up get my son ready take him to school get ready for work do my shift at work come back put my son to bed and then for me I have to lay down in a dark room just have some sort of like relaxing music in the background or maybe sit in a low lighted room read read a book for, read like a couple pages of a book or um, sitting in sitting down just on the floor in complete silence and focus on my breathing and keeping myself relaxed to unfeel my drug as my psychiatrist said but it's it is hard and it is I think daunting for anyone who has it um, like I said it's a big big battle every day that we have to go through so if anyone doesn't know anything about post-concussion syndrome or post-traumatic stress disorder ask because we're happily from what we've learned we happily can tell you about it um, don't just put, push it to one side it is hard for someone who has it be there supportive make sure around you you've got that supportive network as well having that supportive network will help you get through everything that you're going through even if it is just a couple people like with me it's my partner and my mum is the two people I speak about sorry my cat's just gone from um, but other other ways like for me opening up about what I've been through which I'm hoping I can go in a bit more detail in my next vlog because I'm only doing a quick one today because I've got to go to work in a minute but um, in my next vlog I'm hoping that I can go into a bit more depth about post-concussion syndrome and post-traumatic stress and hopefully I can vlog my journey because I know I've got so much coming up um, that I'm going to need that supportive network but I also want to vlog it so that maybe I can help you guys with some advice some of, look at some of the treatment I'm having and maybe compare to some of the treatment you guys are having um, to see if like anything's different if I'm having something different compared to someone else um, see, see if it works um, so hopefully fingers crossed in a few days time once I've sorry that's my cat <laughs> once I've um come here come on Um, once I've I've got an appointment tomorrow so I can vlog either tomorrow or Wednesday so I can go into a bit more depth with me if you are watching this I don't know because it's my first video so I don't know if anyone is going to watch it if you want to write any comments in the box below um, on what you've been through or you just want to ask me what I've been through it's all some advice or anything like that write them down in the box below and um, hopefully I'll get a chance to read them over the next few days or I might do leave it till next week because I am new and I don't know how many people are going to be watching this but write down where you're from what you've been through and I'll read through, see if on my next vlog I can maybe answer some of them questions or try and advise on some of the questions 
from what I've been through over the last two years and maybe I can help um, in some way maybe but this is a learning journey for me for me as well so we can do it all together so I'm really sorry this one it sounds really bad it is my first time but fingers crossed um, people can now see see a little bit of what it's like to have it um, like I said I am really sorry because it's my first time and I am really bad at these but um, yeah like I said any questions anything that you've been through that you want to ask me I'll happily read through them best I can um, hopefully fingers crossed I get people watching or subscribing um, so then I can carry on and hopefully show you my journey and share with you as well. Thanks guys.